okay now uh, before moving on to uh, transmission gate first i want to show you what pass transistor logic means because that will be needed in tran uh, transmission gate to understand transmission gate so pass transistor logic means uh, it's a transistor which has the passing facility you can think of okay so your n mos and p mos will be used in such a way you can see here so drain gate source of n mos is given a is the input b is another input b is a controlling input okay y is the output so how it will work if b will be equal to zero your y will be open means it will not connect a to y if b will be one it will connect a to y okay so y will be a so it is acting like a switch when b is equal to zero the switch is open when b is equal to one the switch is closed so a equal to b this is how you see NMOS. Similarly, you can see PMOS source drain gate. B is the again controlling input. A is the just a normal input. Y is the output. If B will be equal to zero, it will connect A to Y. Means Y will be equal to A. If B will be equal to one, this will act as open. Y will be equal to open. Right. So it is acting like a switch. When B is equal to zero, the switch is closed. When B is equal to one, the switch is open. So just complement of that uh, NMOS right so what the use of this uh, you can use uh, uh, it to make any any uh, gate or logic function so here you can see an example it is an example of what AND gate so I'm trying to realize AND gate by using this pass transistor logic just by NMOS I am using how I can use it so truth table you are already aware of 00011011 uh, when both the inputs are one then only the output will be one and get means like a dot b it is doing right so this is the truth table now how you can realize it one of them you can take as controlling input i am taking b so b here and b bar here so if b will be equal to zero then this will be on right b will be equal to zero then this will be on or uh, uh how shall i say uh so zero one zero zero means like b bar you can think of it as zero you are applying okay so output is zero in both the cases so it is not dependent on a so i have connected this input to ground so that whenever this b will be equal to zero this will be on right and it will connect the 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 uh uh, uh this this input uh, to the output you can think of okay this is an nmos right so b equal to zero means b bar equal to one b bar equal to one means here you can see y will get connected to a a is here ground right so for zero it is the output is zero for one what will happen when b equal to one b bar will be zero so this will not work b will be one means this will be working so a will be connected to y so here you can see uh, y is equal to a only right zero one zero one so that is how you can uh, create any gate you can also take the the select uh, select a controlling uh, variable to be a then in that case what will be what will be the circuit so a circuit will be like this now i have i will be making a here a bar here and i will see according to the truth table what i have to connect at the input so when the this is a no so when the input is a even a is equal to zero this guy will be working right a bar will be one so this guy will be working this will not work so i will see that y is zero in both the cases not dependent on b so i'll connect it to ground when I will see a is equal to 1, this guy will be working, this will not work because a bar will be 0. I saw that it is equal, y is equal to b. So I will connect b here. Right? So that is how you can design uh, a gate. You can also design any other gate. Let's say, uh, let's say you want XOR gate. Okay. a, b, y, 0, 0, 0, 1. 1011 1. Uh, it is an equal inequality detector xor b uh, means unequal number of one 
means or oh, sorry odd number of uh, ones are there in the input then the output will be one right so here the it is zero here it is zero odd number of ones are there so it here it is one this can be written as a b bar plus a bar b right so how you can uh, design again let me take uh, you can take any of this as a controlling signal let me take b here so i will take nmos 2 nmos i have taken connected it together and here the input will be something here will be so b i am selecting uh, as a control signal so b and b bar i have selected here it is y now i will be putting a according to the truth table so here you can see when the b value is 0 what is happening um, it is equal to a y is equal to a you can see so b is equal to 0 means this guy will be working b bar will be 1 right so here i'll connect a and when b is equal to 1 this guy is working this will not work so it is a bar right so here i can connect a bar so y will be a bar b plus a b bar that's how you can make uh, xor gate so you can see with with just two transistors and mos you can make a, a gate uh, if you will realize with and or nor uh, and or gates you will take much more space as well as gates right so that is the advantage <coughs> you can design any other gate as well or any other function depending upon the truth table right you can also use pmos <coughs> so let me uh, make this with a pmos right same thing i'll make but with a pmos so this is how my pmos will look so pmos is having let's say b only this is b bar <coughs> and this is your y so when <coughs> b will be equal to zero what will happen this will be on right this will not be on because b bar will be one one will not on the pmos <coughs> it is open so here you can see <coughs> this guy will be working so you you can connect 0 1 0 1 a here and uh, b bar no so when b will be equal to 1 this will be active and here you can connect a bar so by pmos also you can make it by nmos also you can make it you can make any circuit even you can make multiplexers decoders uh, flip flops big big circuits you can make so that is the reason if <laughs> of using uh, these guys as pass transistor logic so whenever you see a circuit like when uh, there is no supply there is no ground uh, and only nmoses or pmoses you are able to see then uh, think it in terms of pass transistor logic okay so it is just like single shot like uh, either the input will be zero or one so the transistor will respond in either it will connect these two guys or it will not that's the only thing you have to think okay so how this will be helpful in 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 uh, uh, looking at transmission gates that is what i'll see uh, uh, tell you now so these guys had some problem have some problem uh, that i'll be telling you and to overcome that problem uh, uh, transmission gates are designed and you can do all these things with transistor gates uh, sorry transmission gates and you can design anything with these uh, pmos and nmos see so in device level you can see that how this is effective right it is consuming very less space you don't have any supply so it is not consuming power so it is much better for large scale integration right that's why we go for pass transistor logic so hopefully the idea is clear to you now i'll uh, give you the problem with pass transistor logic now let's see what is the problem with pass transistor logic so i'm taking the example of nmos right now next i will take the example of pmos so here in nmos this is the drain gate and source controlling input is b normal input is a output is y now it is driving some capacitor at load uh, which is this transistor will be trying giving some other transistor right so that will have some capacitance so i'm representing it with capacitive load now what will happen if b will be equal to 1 y should be equal to a right so if a is equal to 0 y will also be equal to 0 because this is this is in on condition a will be equal to y, uh, y will be equal to a that is what it is happening in case when a is 0 now what will happen when a will be 1 that is vd b is again b is also one 
so when it was uh, input was zero it was passing zero successfully but when the input is one and controlling input is also one cl tries to charge to vdd because a gets connected to y a is logic high means vdd so this capacitor cl charge tries to charge to vdd value so it is charging slowly 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 it is charging from zero to vdd but what will happen at some point of time you can see the capacitor voltage is increasing means the source voltage is increasing if the source voltage will increase the vgs value will be decreased because gate voltage is connected to one that is vdd source voltage is increasing so vgs value will be decreasing right at some point of time what will happen it will decrease 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 and at some point of time it will go lower than threshold voltage and your nmos will be off will go in the cutoff mode then what will happen your y will be equal to vdd minus vtt uh, vdd minus vt this voltage okay at max it can go to vdd minus vt why because vg is connected to vdd vs if vs will be vdd minus vt your difference vgs voltage will be vt right so it is in the boundary of uh, vgs value is boundary uh, means like is it is equal to vt if it tries to charge more this vgs value will go lower than vt and in that case your transistor will be cut off right so you wanted your output to go to vdd because you have applied input vdd but at the output what you are getting is vdd minus vt because your vgs voltage is decreasing up to a point where it is going be lower than threshold voltage and that makes nmos off so it is passing the zero value successfully but it is not able to pass the logic high value successfully it is a, uh, not as good as uh, we wanted we wanted vdd but it is passing vdd minus vt okay so this is one problem uh, same similar kind of problem exists in uh, pmos uh, let me show you the uh, pmos problem okay okay so now a similar scenario you can see in the pmos transistor so same scenario is there just i've changed the di direction of arrow imagine that your capacitor is charged to uh, vdd okay so if b will be equal to 0 a equal to 1 means like it will be normally passing b equal to 0 means pmos will be on means y will be equal to a so it is uh, normally passing a, uh, a equal to 1 to y equal to 1 right so 1 it is able to pass now what will happen if b is equal to 0 and a is equal to 0 and it is time to pass a equal to 0 then what happens cl discharges to 0 volt imagine that it is uh, charged to vdd and it is trying to discharge to 0 volt because a is connected to 0 and b is 0 so it is passing it now cl from vdd goes to 0 volt and it is coming down 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 from vdd to towards 0 what will happen this is your source voltage source voltage is decreasing if source voltage is decreasing this gate voltage is connected to zero that is zero volt so vsg voltage will be decreasing right because g voltage is zero s voltage is decreasing right so vsg will be decreasing right sg is decreasing at some point of time it will go less than mod vt and then pmos will be off right what is the condition of uh, 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 transistor being on vsg has to be greater than or equal to vt mod right this is the pmos condition for for conduction so your vsg is decreasing 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 at some point of time it will come le less than mod vt and then pmos will be off so in that case we expected output to go to zero but it will go to vt only because if vs will be vt vg is zero vsg if you will calculate that comes out to be vt so it will decrease 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 as soon as vsg tries to go lower than vt uh, this transistor will be off right so it will go till only vt that is the maximum value of capacitor to be discharged okay so it cannot will not be able to go to zero volt so that is the problem with pmos so you can see why pmos transistor logic is having problem nmos is not able to pass vdd successfully and p 
EMOS is not able to pass zero successfully. Okay, so these two problems were overcome by transmission gate, where we use PMOS as well as NMOS, and both these properties uh, will be removed. Okay, from NMOS and PMOS. So this problem. So that was the motivation. Although you can use pass transistor logic to design uh, any gate or multiplexers, decoders, anything, but it they be due to this problem. We move towards pass um, um, transmission gate and transmission gate also can uh, be used for making different gates multiplexer decoders and anything so let's move towards transmission gate